Hello. This video you're about to see is in two parts. This is part one. It is the most exciting barn find extraction I've ever attended. Certainly more exciting than this Austin Princess, although I do love it. Um, we knew about this barn find. We got a text at 10 past 10 the night before. Could we come down and film it? Would we like to? Of course we did. We dropped everything. I shot down there. You're seeing this as I arrive, as I see it. Hopefully you'll get the same excitement I got watching these cars see light for the first time in about 50 years. Okay, I'm here for what could be certainly the barn find of the year. Um, it could be the best barn find you are ever going to see. Behind me, you'll see E-Type and an AC here. There are more above, E-types in there. There are bits of E-types, Granadas, Land Rovers everywhere. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and grab someone here to see if they can run me through each and every car, because I'll be honest with you, I don't know what all of these are. They're a bit beyond my knowledge. Um, and we'll get a rundown and we'll try and film as much as we can of the cars being extracted over the course of today. Keep watching, this is gonna be a good one. So I'm with Guy Snelling at Anglia Car Auctions. As I've said, we're not gonna say exactly where we are, but let's just say it's not the Fens. We're not in the north of Scotland, it's some remote barn. Um, we're in quite a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Built up area. And this is the, the find of the year, possibly the find of the century here, I think. And Guy's gonna give us a quick rundown, aren't you Guy? A little bit of a rundown. Elton, anything you want to add, feel free to add, Guy. Lovely to see you. Thank you. When you came here, Elton, yes, your face just lit up like a card. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I can picture you on a Christmas morning as a little boy because oh, it was the same scale electric. <laughs> yeah, scale electric, the same face. So yeah. obviously, there's a lot going on. We're just the uh, 80 inch uh, Series One Land Rover. We're just lifting at the minute. It's completely broken its chassis, so that's yeah. going to be quite a complex lift. But I wanted to show you the main event, okay. uh, which is, is behind me. Um, obviously, you can see this fantastic barn. Mind your step, Elton. Yeah. We have E-Type, coupe, a little bit crushed down with the roof. Above it, the AC Seeker. Very, very rare car. Right. And obviously, all aluminium. And above that, and I don't know if you can see... I'm going to come in and um, cut you out of the shot, Guy, I'm sorry. No, please do. The so, car is the star, mate. What, what have we got up here, then? So what makes it really unusual, not only have we got cars three high, yeah. but that is an AC Ace yeah. Bristol. So it's a Bristol-engined AC Ace. Very, and that's very out. rare car. And that's coming out? That's coming out today. My word. So... Um, the confidence of you, Guy. We've got some very skilled... <laughs> Uh, chaps here, um, many hands make light work. Still, I mean, we've never been tasked with pulling out cars three high. <coughs> here we have an E-type Roadster and another E-type Roadster to, uh, to my left. My word. And above me are suspended on these cables. I'm going to try to film in here, Guy, I, whether this will work. Oh my word, I haven't been in here yet. Just squeeze your way through you're going the right way okay mind your step so there's two e-type shells up here oh my word yes yeah, so there are and here is another ac ace um no way. above head height okay. in this so it's such a challenge it's Can a I... real real challenge obviously you have certain privacy and customer issues here but do, do you know the backstory of these cars guys? they've all been here um Probably around, approaching 50 years. Okay. Um, the question everyone's going to ask, and you may not know the answer, why? Why not? <laughs> why not just I store a load of cars? I haven't been to, uh, to your premises, but I know that you, possibly, this is you in 50 years' time. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, with yeah, Austin yeah. Allegro's. With and Austin Allegro's. Yeah, yeah. You know, bearing in mind in the oh, 50s and 60s and 70s, these cars weren't that expensive. They were still very exciting. Yeah. Uh, and cool, but they weren't the money that they are now. So it no. was quite possible that you could put a collection like this together 
fairly inexpensively. Yeah. Um, and I'm very pleased that someone has because they've been, yes, they all need restoration, but they have been preserved. Yes. These are, and these cars are not known. They're, you know, unknown cars. This is going to be quite, quite a buzz when they hit the market. And when are you selling these? We're selling these on Saturday and Sunday, uh, the 19th and 20th of August. That'll be uh, 2023. Kingsman, 2023. For people watching this eight years down the road, because <laughs> yeah. I'm sure this video will stand the test of time, just like the cars have. Um, so, yeah, super exciting. Lots of work to do on the cars, but... They are genuine barn finds. Now I'm going to thank you there and cut this short because I know you are really, really busy. I'm going to keep out your way, but thank you for letting UK Barn Finds come here. We're going to try, no, and, film, pleasure. Going to try and film bits we can, um, as much as we can, um, without getting in the way. And um, we just want to see these cars out in the daylight as much as you now. So we're looking at a very tired looking Series 1 Land Rover here, 80 inch. Lifting is going to be interesting because yeah, yeah. I think there are a few backbone issues here. You might recognise some of the people here, you avid fans of the uh, Anglia Car Auctions live stream. The auctioneers, get involved. That was David you just saw, Freddie over there. All they're doing is bracing the vehicle at the moment just to make sure that it keeps as complete as possible. They've done this before, they know what they're doing. So it looks like the Series 1 Land Rover Maybe about to fly. It's going to be a while before it drives. But it has come free now. They had to move a lot of concrete uh, sheets, uh, a lot of detritus around it. It's well chained, well braced. So hopefully now they'll manage to get it out through the narrow lane and out onto the road. There are people that say that auction houses, you know, just put things on the internet or just sell things and make money with no effort. Yeah. I'm hoping that some of you are going to change your mind in that regard now. Um, okay, not every car they sell has to go through this process, but this has been a monumental and is going to be a monumental effort, both in time, resource and money. Um, to get these cars to sail. It's going to be great. I'd be amazed if this doesn't make the newspapers. But it um, just goes to show that the guys that you see working in the offices and on the rostrums get their hands dirty as well. The gentleman with the broom there, that's Neil Gaskins, NG Vehicle Logistics. Um, we've used him for a few cars now. Lovely chap, does exactly what it says on the Tim Manil. He gets your car to you or away from you with no fuss. Thoroughly recommend Neil if you do need to get a car moved. He's got a team of drivers. So they're just prepping the Land Rover now. It's quite a narrow sort of driveway out onto a main road. So here we are, series 180 inch. I'm not sure which vehicle we're going on. I think we're going, if I pan around there. Neil's trailer there. Obviously, this is causing quite a bit of disruption locally, but thankfully, people understand that you can't do these things without um, doing what you're doing, really, which is blocking roads a little bit, trying to be as quick as they can, being very professional and courteous. So, This is one of the easier cars to get out, I would have thought. So we'll, keep, we'll keep out of the way. It's going to 
will make life nice and easy. A few cameras working today. We've got Freddie over there working for Anglia Car Auctions. He's going to get some footage too. It all helps. It all helps the story. You know, if you're buying these cars, you'd like to know a little bit about them as much as you need to know. So you often see vehicles like this going down the road. It never really crosses your mind as that. I wonder how that got on there. Well, there you go. Because you wouldn't be winching that on. I'm just pulling off. No idea how much a day like this costs the auction house, but um, you've got at least six staff that I can see at the moment. Higher equipment, obviously the trailers and recovery trucks. Expensive day out really, but hopefully it's going to be worth their while. So here we go. First car out, Land Rover, Series 1, 80 inch. Next challenge is this E-type body. Just as I said, an E-type body, Guy Snelling walked into shot. Look at that. I certainly, said, don't, look, I certainly don't look like an e I didn't say beach body, mate. I think <laughs> E-type. <laughs> <laughs> so this should be relatively simple compared to the last uh, challenge. And then you get onto the real this, project. Say, Certainly yeah. not the most valuable thing here. But it's in the way, yeah. so she's got to go. So a tentative lift now, and they'll see how much integrity is left in that. Here we go. Let's have a look. come out fairly solidly. Not a sight you see every day in the, shall we say, suburb. Got 
off she goes. Back of the truck. As she goes away, we'll quickly shout out to Guy over there. Two down, how many to go, mate? Two down, technically eight to go, including the two shells. There we are, one trailer loaded up, ready to go. Here is one. E type, or was. Be made safe. Taken home. So a quick look underneath while we can. Look. That's what happens when the car's sat in the dirt for those years, but. Fascinating thing to see though, I hope you're enjoying it. Keep watching, because the best is to come, as they say. This is just your starter. Main course will be served in a few minutes. Archaeology's begun. The guys seem to have a plan. I haven't asked them. I want to watch it unfold for real in front of my eyes. There's been a bit of air going into tyres. Whether it came straight out again, I don't know. Now checking access, seeing how solid things are and going for it. All hands to the pump now. The uh, first E-type is moving, so to work around everyone what we've got luckily there was a tree stump there that's going to prove handy for positioning this one so obviously this one needs to come out first before they can even think about the ones above it and to the side of it now just checking for blockages <laughs> Neil sorted his wife's Christmas present out anyway. <laughs> that's, that's the surest recipe for no dinner, Neil, tonight. Here's the bit of barn finds you don't normally see, look. But, all of this stuff obviously wasn't here when that went in there, because it ain't coming out to last move. What I'm finding so interesting, apart from the cars, is the fact that to these guys, it's just a job. It's take it all in their stride, haven't batted an eyelid. Just get on with it. Yeah, we need to move out, then we can do this. Amazing. Nice watching experienced people doing what they do sometimes. Whilst there's some clearance work going on around the corner, I thought I'd just nip out and say uh, shout out to Chartered Transport, these guys here. They're the hired hands for the day and they're obviously used to this sort of thing. They've got all the equipment and I don't just mean the machinery, you've seen like they've got diggers, little uh, skid steer things, whatever they are, but also just having things like all the cushions, mattresses, straps. There's some matting there to make a, a roadway out. Um, nice guys, like I say, obviously done this before. So that's the first test to see if this system will work. they cleared some space behind, as you may have seen earlier. Um, the idea is to get the car out and then they can worry about lifting it and spinning it round to get it down the drive, but need to clear the garage first. What you don't want to do is cause any damage to the car, the other cars, the building, or anything really. Thank you. 
as this is the internet there'll be some expert out there who'll say they could have done it better but trust me these guys are doing an absolutely fantastic job I haven't blinked they just got on with it so the issue we got now is although there's some space clear behind wasn't quite enough thankfully my camera equipment was behind there has been moved but look at this you're about to see well you are seeing the e-type jag in its entirety so it's out far enough now I can pull the front round it'll be a more straightforward recovery job now it's just getting that long car out of that garage first shame the steering's locked on because that would have made it even easier because the steering was moving that isn't seized up so the next stage is um I'll oh, we'll take a sneaky look in there whilst Freddie's having a shifty. Beautiful. You do have to ask the question, is the engine in there when you get it out? A, because obviously it's adds value, and B, it's going to adjust the, um, the balance of the whole car, because they're going to try and pick it up somehow, I think, and swing it around. I'm going to keep banging on about it, but auction houses, good ones, do a lot more than just take the car, sell it and take your money. You see Freddie here, he's normally helping with the classic car sales, he started consigning cars, gets involved in all the paperwork and admin in the auction house, but now his job is to make sure they get as much of a record of these cars as possible to get the story out there and get the best price and get not just the price get it to the, make sure that everyone who's interested in these cars knows about them that's the great thing about the internet you're not going to not use it you're daft so Anglia car auctions always have videos of their classic cars before the sale up on their site. But I think this is a little bit of a new area for them, filming an extraction like this. But it's great, great to see. We'll um, make sure that we obviously they're tagged below in the description of this video. Go and have a look at their page, subscribe to them as well. Because I dare say they'll be doing more of this. We won't be at everyone. We're very, very fortunate to be asked along today. Here we go. We're told the E-Type here is pretty solid, so it's been well and truly strapped so that the weight is spread nice and evenly. Be lifted and then obviously move forward a little bit. So hopefully take two in a moment getting the angle of the dangle right so that it will swing out those extra few inches that it needs to come as you can imagine it's not easy just to get in a position to film here you kind of um, amongst all the clutter everywhere you've got to stay safe you need to be visible I found a little perch here, it's quite comfortable. I think that's quite a pretty little sight, look. How often do you get to see this? So I think they're going to shorten the back one now. That's almost there. Of all the vehicles in that shed, 
this is the easiest and to be honest I wouldn't want to be doing this I'm sure a lot of you watching this would absolutely love it if you've ever done any like this let us know That's, love to hear from you Best vehicle you've recovered or seen recovered. I reckon until the next one comes out, this is probably the most expensive I've seen. But it'll be short lived because, like I said, there's more to come, and some of it's more expensive. car is about six foot away from me at the moment. bit where I trip over because I can't look where I'm standing. Uh, oh, so far so good. This one's going straight onto a recovery truck. That will leave here shortly. And it'll make life a lot easier, a bit more space to work with now. And also the techniques been worked out. It's just when they're hanging from the ceiling, it adds another element. So I don't need to show too much of this. I'm sure everyone's seen a car being strapped onto a recovery truck before, but time is of the essence, so it's all hands to the pump. So good news, whilst I was charging up the camera, the missing wheel off the AC Asica has appeared at the back of the garage. There was a spinner knocking around. I think Neil's now putting that on. That's going to make life. Oh, look. WD40. Good advert for them there, look. That's going to sort everything out. Um, that's going to make life a lot easier now that it's got four wheels on it. And that's going to be the next car to come out, I think. The plan is, put some extremely long tine extensions on there, take the weight that's being held up by chains, hopefully you'll then just be able to free the chains, if not I'm sure someone's got an angle grinder. But the prep work's gone in, you'll see the ground has got more mats, been cleared a bit more. I'm going to stick my neck out and say I think this will actually be reasonably straightforward. Grabbing a car on a forklift not the hardest thing in the world. But when I do it, I just generally have to take care of it like this. Hope that they've got enough length on those tines. To get all the way in there. So I'm just trying to pick up on some of the conversation over here, but I think possibly those tines don't go all the way at the back. So they're talking about 
strapping it down at the front so you don't get any tilt at the back just in case. So a bit more support gone in. Just making sure it's all um, balanced nicely on those times now. David showing his versatility. Guy showing off his supervisor skills. <laughs> yeah. He looks the part. On the other side and have a look but she's free of the ceiling well say the ceiling there's one above it so I think it's free now but I don't want to disturb the guys and ask stupid questions it's a block and tackle coming down David's given the signal to come out, so hopefully she'll see the light of day. So this is AC, a seeker, I've told. So I don't usually mix in these circles, so that's a new one for me. a long old train coming out there um, obviously if you're looking at this angle you think oh you can just pull it straight back out which yeah would make sense but behind there's a lot of stuff still so we're getting there did not expect this
and she's on. So I just sneakily put a mic on guy then, he, genuinely, he didn't I notice. thought it was just an affectionate <laughs> tap. Oh. Um, so how do you think it's going, mate? It's going really well. Uh, we knew it would be slow. Um, What's the time? I can't look at them. Time is now quarter past two. Uh, and in essence, we've only got two cars out of the uh, shed so far. But as you can see, a lot's involved. We're having to be quite careful. They're quite precarious. Yeah. So taking them out is a bit of a a bit of a mission, finding out how they've been attached, hidden chains, straps, and really, this, really quite exciting. And this one now is so, possibly the most precarious of the lot. It is, so it's, uh, it's the uh, ACS, it's the Bristol engined ACS. It's a very, very rare car, it's a very special car. Um, and from what I can see, it doesn't actually look to be in that bad condition. So uh, I'm really crossed. excited, Fingers really excited crossed. about this. Good. It's going great so far from this end as well. We love watching it. You've got a good team here. Yeah, it's a fantastic team. The guys know so, what they're doing, so let's let's watch them crack on. So after a lot of jiggery pokery, there's a rumour. The Bristol engine they see may be ready to come down. About to fight a little bit. How on earth these got up there in the first place, I do not know. I was just saying um, to Guy, Anglia Car Auctions, that um, the irony is that probably one man who put them up there. Very clever guy with a block and tackle and a great deal of ingenuity. I don't know if I'll ever see such an intricate, complex car extraction of a high value car again in my life. I hope I do because it's been fun. Coming down now. Well, we find out there's an Indiana Jones booby trap or something. I'm trying to film as much as I can, but you have to be aware that I may need to dive out of the way in a minute. Wobble there. Look at that. That was worth the three hour drive alone. What a sight. Very quick scoot around whilst they're sorting out the vehicle to pull us AC Ace out. Because I haven't seen it, oh my word. If you've got a teenage son or daughter and you have to venture into their bedroom every day, this will probably all look familiar in here. But the seats are going to need a bit of work. Some it's been easing those. It's manifolds. It's like an aeroplane. So a guy can't wait to have a look around this car. Everyone here, all the car guys and girls here are all over this. Um, it's certainly got presence. 
you don't have to have a wallet that matches the car to appreciate the car always. You can appreciate it from afar like I do. There we are. What an amazing, amazing find. So UK barn finds, they do happen. It's just not always in a barn. Obviously we're in the garage. This AC is coming out. Put the girders on the back. Come forward a little bit. Yeah. Yep. This car's still fighting a little bit. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! That jack there. That's all right, I think you've cleared it now. Sorry, as I was saying, um, this car's still fighting. A couple of the wheels seem to be seized. So it's a bit of brute force. Let's get it out, get it to the relative safety of the driveway. I had nightmares of it hitting that, that jack handle there. So the debate is about whether they're gonna lift it or winch it onto the truck now. Should be good to go. It's fairly straight. Yeah, yeah, it's pulling it.
Do you think you're halfway through? Do you think you'll get? Yeah, we're halfway well? through. But let me just show you in here. Go on then. Um, Let's go so for it. basically, the challenge, the challenge we've got, as you can see, quite a small um, exit. Yeah. Two cars down here, two E-types. How we can manage to spin these out through this hole, and then the two E-type shells suspended from the ceiling, and then the ACA yeah, at the back. Yeah, I was just looking at that. That's... Um, so that's it's a real part, part of the real. I mean, everything in here is gold, but that's that's new, another level gold at the back there. You Absolutely. can't leave that one. Can Apart you? from David's shirt, which is now a rusty brown, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think you've probably seen better days this shirt. Yeah. You'll see that same shirt in August. Same shirt. Can yeah. you wear? Can you wear? Department. Can you wear that on the rostrum, David? <laughs> Good to see you happy. Anyway. Yeah, uh, and uh, you smiling. You're a, you've you've been in. Um, it's quite interesting watching you today. So you've obviously been focusing on your on your camera, but I think you've been t quite sort of taken by it, haven't you? It's been fantastic because I haven't had to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> on the camera. I'm used to doing everything myself, so it's quite good for me. This is a bus. Well, not even a bus on today. I'm literally doing nothing and watching yeah. everyone else do the things that I'd usually do back home. So Brilliant. it's great. Fantastic! I can't wait to see all this stuff coming. Well, thanks, about. Elton, for coming down and uh, uh, and, and filming. It's been and getting uh, in the way and getting in the yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, eating all the biscuits. Yeah, still yeah. in the water. But yeah, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I saw. You saw it with me. I didn't get a preview or anything. I literally turned up and they were already just about to start. And um, like and subscribe. Hopefully, we'll get some more barn finds like this soon. And if we do, we'll put them on YouTube and you can watch them there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. There is a twist in the tale, something to do with the Bristols, the engines. Head over to Anglia Car Auctions YouTube channel. They explain it all. I'm not gonna go into all that detail, but it's quite simple. Um, I wasn't sure at this point whether I was coming back tomorrow. I couldn't help myself. I had to come back. So drove home, did my normal office work and the next morning I'm back. That's going to all be in part two when you'll see the rest of the cars coming out. So please look out for that and um, subscribe for more stuff like this because we're going to be doing a lot more barn find extractions. Mm -hmm.